How's it going, everybody? Welcome to another edition of the Thursday Access uh, Weekly Stream. My name is Sammy Fish, and we're going to do my very first playthrough of an Otome game on my own. So, yeah, taking the first dive on my own without Anne, which is scary because Anne's been holding my hand the entire time. And now uh, I'm going about it alone. I have gone on my first venture on my own into the into the wild. And now uh, I have to figure out how to do this on my own. You see, like, he still kind of he still kind of got like a little bit of a fit. He still has some muscles going on. The artist really likes to draw sexy grandpas. I wish, I hope, I have one wish. I have exactly one wish. I like my hair quite a bit. I have exactly one wish. For me, when I grow older, I only want to have nice white hair. That is it. I don't got, I could, I, I can, my body can crumple, my, I could, I could look like, I could have like an elephant with like the amount of wrinkles that I have. I don't care. I just want to have like super nice white hair. That's it. <laughs> I'm the target of the uh, author or the artist. Yeah, because when I saw uh, when I saw the grandpa, I was like, you know what? I kind of want to look like that when I grow older. I think more people would probably be uh, probably be okay with growing older if it meant that they looked like that. Right? Which one was the... I am doing so bad at this already. How do you guys do this? Oh, right. There... <laughs> we talked about this last week. There's two... There's two shoulder buttons. There's two shoulder buttons, guys. <laughs> the... Did I mess something up? Did the text come out, like, immediately? It did. All right. How do I fix that? <laughs> I'll, get... <laughs> I'll eventually get the hang of it. <laughs> And right now is like watching watching her kid like ride the bike, but she's the hands off type of parent. <laughs> Where she's just like, kid's gonna fall. You'll get it eventually. <laughs> I'm the bean dad of Atome Games. <laughs> all right, all right, and let's let's work on bringing <laughs> let's work on bringing Bean Dad back into the zeitgeist. He wasn't in here long enough. I do too, by the way. I love that, that coffee smell. Like it, when you walk into a coffee shop, especially if you have like your coffee shop, right? Like when I walk into my coffee shop, there's a certain smell to it that I love. It's a fancy door. I don't know why, why is it? Like you imagine that you see this door and it's fancier than everything else. That's gotta be frightening. Yeah, even if you like antiques and old things, you're not going to have a whole door. And do you remember where if we went to open it or not? I kind of want to do the opposite is why I'm asking. We opened it before. Okay, let's do the opposite. All right. And <laughs> don't tell him. Save first? Oh, no. Is that what you... Oh, hold on. It's too late. Never mind. Oh, she's getting a... She's getting a random call from work to come in? Oh. Mmm. No, don't do it! Don't do it! What? A hundred hours? All right, you know what? You know what? We're making a decision. We're making a decision right now. We're we're. St <laughs> Guys, stream's over. Thank you for coming by. <laughs> that was pretty funny. <laughs> I, I was so I So, you know what you think is that when you get a choice that early in the story, and given that what I did know, um, 
given what I did know from when I was watching with Anne, I assumed that it would just like something would happen where it would force your hand, right? It would just be like, okay, well, you have to open the door. Otherwise, the story doesn't progress. So we're just going to make it some like the like we're just going to like move around it, right? A few moments later. How do you know it leads nowhere? It's just a door. Actually, you know what? I don't know. The the picture doesn't really show it, but it's like, can you see behind it? If you can see behind it, that'd be double weird. Is then it it is literally just a door. Are doors still doors if they don't lead to anything? Like if you don't like a door is specifically like a thing that like closes off rooms, right? But like if you have a door in the middle of a room and it doesn't stop you from going from one place to another, is it just like a plank or like a piece of ornate wood? Or is it like actually is it still a door? Can it look like a door and not be a door? Don't you think this is a lot for for first encounter? This is Super Mario Sunshine music. <laughs> Alright, but you're not allowed to say that. I don't think you're allowed to say that. You're not allowed to say that you're not dangerous. The elegant trespasser. I imagine that these names are are given to are given to the characters via Kotane, right? The first trespasser. I didn't rec I didn't recognize that point of view of like they didn't leave question marks in for the name, so that means that these names are based on what Kotane is thinking of them right now. Trespasser wearing a... Also, <laughs> she's calling them trespassers then. Alright, relax. Why are you walking forward? Also, come on. Everybody else decided to put on their, like, regular Earth attire. Missir. Missir? Missir? How do I pronounce it? Missir? Missir. Missir. Missir? Missir. Missir. Missir? How am I pronouncing this? Misiru. Misiru. The rowdy man in the Nyanshir. <laughs> Woo! -hoo. I'm just saying, I need, I need him to also get on the program here, right? I need him to have regular clothing as well. Because you're the only one... Like, Kotane makes way more sense now. You look like you're in cosplay now. Everybody else at least looks partly normal. Even the guy with the he floating helmet on his neck. Let's be nice to them. And <laughs> take bets on which route he ends up on. Oh, so you end up on routes naturally. Interesting. The hardest thing will be playing not playing this on my own. Alright, big show off. Do you like this look better with my sick abs? Alright, relax over there, huh? You can answer anything. Yeah, alright. Kotonai and I are Kotonai and I are, are in agreement. I went from I don't get it to what is happening. <laughs> what <is that>? Wait. <laughs> what is this face? Oh man, I didn't, I didn't expect that. Look at, look at that grin. It's somewhere stuck between being a lewd face and a shit-eating grin. Ilfa. Oh no, he's a he's a gamer. 
Wait, he has a smart- I just real. he has a smartphone? There's like other world smartphones? Or does he like have the smartphone from here and he's taking it back? I do, okay, I do not get any signal in the heavenly world. So he just has a smartphone that he's taken back and forth. Including me, there are six people who are being involved with this right now. And there's only one... There are six people, me, Kotone, and the four boys. And there is only one person who gets Otome games right now. And it's not me or the Unto uh, Otome protagonist. Oh, you do go through all of them. Okay. <laughs> is this a bit? Is this a bit, by the way, where he's just going to stand closer? Oh, he's a good boy. That's fine. All right. It's okay. Yeah, why are you wearing a f helmet? Look, he's so nice. Why is he so nice? He has real good guns? All right. Wait, we're waiting for the shirt to come off. We've already seen Ignis' abs. We need to see your abs, too. Ab check. Everybody take your shirts off. Are you not noticing, like, the fire coming out of his neck? I know this feeling really well. I know this feeling really well. It's got a little bit more real than I thought it was going to, or faster than I thought it was going to. My Tobey Games! The music definitely didn't need to be this good, but it's super good. Hmm. Talking about bag jobs is also a sore spot for me. I feel very similarly to Kotane. I had a pretty shitty job before being able to stream with Axis. It's way more real than I expected. Let me tell you. It's always unexpected. Look at this. Look at this face. Especially the 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 super zoom in here. Oh boy. <laughs> Why is that relevant? <laughs> what are you gonna do? Summon an army of the damned? Yeah, what do you mean? <laughs> okay. Alright, yeah. Brings a uh, brings a different connotation to moving heaven and earth. Yeah, by definition. Oh, I did not expect this mood. Oh, that's his hand. Oh, Whew. that was really that surprised me quite a bit. I'm not gonna lie. That I that was such a that was such a huge tonal shift. I was so surprised. But now I'm like, oh no, I, no! The scariest sound of all. Ah, make it stop. Oh man. <laughs> I totally forgot about the fifth character. There's the man himself. Oh, jeez. Oh, Mr. Suave himself. <laughs> Mr. Suave. Just as accurate. We were both, we both said the same thing. Yeah, and then you decided that you were just gonna sit at your car instead of picking it up yourself? Alright. Yeah, can I ask you a personal question? Why do you feel like it's okay for you to wear that shirt without a tie and still have the button down, huh? Huh? Do you feel like this is okay? Alright, listen. I don't care if there's actually non-humans. 
or humans in this world, when you say you're an ordinary human, that makes me doubt whether you're an ordinary human or not. I could have never seen an alien, never known of, of an otherworldly being, but if you say I'm a normal human, I'm like, all right, this guy's definitely not normal. Mm. You're beginning to be annoying, Mr. Hot Shirt Guy. To be honest, man, you've you're the only one here with a gun. You're the you're the most dangerous person looking here. The the dude with a helmet for a head doesn't look as dangerous as you. What time is it where you're streaming from? Currently, it is 4:45. I usually start these streams at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, on Thursdays. I'm sorry you missed it. I'll probably, obviously there'll be the VOD on, on uh, Twitch, but I'll be putting up highlights of stuff on YouTube as well.